gonna see me so soon quick with it when I said I was coming back with the regular content I meant it hey girl hey one of my favorite things in this world is birthday cake ice cream and I attempted a copycat recipe and it came out more than successful. I'm picky when it comes to different brands of the birthday cake flavor and this one takes the mother freaking cake. Y'all, I'm absolutely in love with this recipe and when you guys get to try it with or without cannabis, it is delicious and I'm sure almost can guarantee that you're gonna love it too. The sugar cookies on top kept their crunch and texture and really gave this ice cream the kick it didn't need but so desperately deserved. This ice cream is made with can of milk and the written recipe will be available soon on our website buttonbreakfast.blog when it goes live. Don't forget to share this video and subscribe. If you get the chance to try this recipe, tag us at Button Breakfast on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, and also hashtag it, like the video, whatever you can do. It is very much appreciated, guys. I start out by making the can of milk. Before making this milk, I do a few calculations to figure out the dosage needed for this recipe. I had a 23% TH, uh, THC strain, and I used two or three grams to achieve a 40 to 60 milligram dosage for each serving. Again, the written recipes for the can of milk and ice cream will all be there on my website, but I'll also have a few posted on my Instagram as well. I'll have various tools for dosing on each recipe, but also a dosage calculator available because everyone doses differently, and that's very important here. careful with in this recipe such as cooking the milk there's a lot of things that can go wrong there well not a lot a, a couple and also cooking the cake mix I spread out two third cups of vanilla white cake mix again you can supplement with any flavor cake mix and also you can uh, substitute any of the frostings whatever you can get creative baby I'm all for it over here. I start out by warming up one cup of milk and three quarters cup of sugar. If you're looking for sugar free, this is not it. Everything about this recipe screams heart attack grill or cheat day. Always warm your milk on low when there's nothing else in the pot like water or broth because it scalds easily. Once the sugar dissolves, remove the pan from the heat and also add in the cake mix. You're going to have to really whisk it in to get rid of those bits so they don't end up in your ice cream. Unless you're into that kind of stuff, who knows, might be good now that I'm thinking about it. Then I add one and a half cups of heavy cream and then two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Mix it all in, add it to the ice cream machine and boom, go girl.
Okay, so this is a part where I messed up. I wanted a frosting swirl and it just blended right in with the ice cream and made it a green, col uh, green color. But as far as taste, it still tasted like birthday cake ice cream and there's no complaints here. But for those looking for a swirl, I'll post a part two so you can get what I was trying to do. But I'm happy with the end result and the colors blended into a color I really liked instead of like a gray, but they also complemented the cookies. When the ice cream lets me know, well, when the ice cream machine lets me know to add in mix-ins, I add two sugar cookies and then when the ice cream is done, I scoop it into a container and then I top it with some more sugar cookies. Alright guys, so this finishes up the video. Don't forget to share and subscribe. Tag us if you try some of my recipes and see you in the next video.